Anyhow, I want to talk about the ad, the Vox adpocalypse that has just hit YouTube. Now, um, I have to tell you that this doesn't directly affect me because I am not eligible for monetization on YouTube. I don't have enough viewers or sub counts. However, it is very much hitting a lot of other users. So, let me stick on my glasses so I can read this a little better. This is what the new hate speech policy of YouTube says. We've always had policies that prohibited hate speech on YouTube. And on June 5th, we announced some changes to our hate speech policies. And you can learn more about those changes here. The below policy has been updated with those changes. Hate speech is not allowed on YouTube. We remove content promoting violence or hatred against individuals or groups based on any of the following attributes. Age, caste, disability, ethnicity, gender identity, nationality, race, immigration status, religion, sex or gender, sexual orientation, victims of major or violent uh, event and their kin, uh, and if you see that, that, that uh, any content that violates this policy, please report it. Instructions for reporting our community guidelines are available here, and there's a link to that. <clears throat> yes, Larry, Larry, be careful not to hurt somebody's feelings. That's what started all of this nonsense. And Marshall says, yes, but who defines hate speech? If I defined it as socialist propaganda, will YouTube ban people based on that? Uh, no, they won't ban it based on socialist propaganda. They'll ban it based on conservative propaganda, potentially libertarian propaganda, but they won't base it on socialist propaganda. What this means for you, if you're posting content, don't post content on YouTube if the purpose of that content is to do one or more of the following. The first, encourage violence against individuals or groups based on any of the attributes noted above. We don't allow threats on YouTube and we, tre we treat implied calls for violence as real threats. You can learn more about our policies on threats and harassment linked to another thing. And the second is inciting hatred against individuals or groups based on any of the attributes noted above. And other types of content that viol violates this policy. Dehumanizing individuals or groups by calling them subhuman, comparing them to animals, insects, pests, disease, or any other non-human entity. Praise or glorify violence against individuals or groups based on the attributes noted above. Use racial, ethnic, religious, or other slurs where the primary purpose is to promote hatred. Use stereotypes that incite or promote hatred based on any of the attributes noted above. This can take the form of speech, text, or imagery promoting these stereotypes or treating them as factual. Yes, Marshall says, ooh, other types, the classic we don't like clause. Yeah, exactly. You cannot claim that individuals or groups are physically or mentally inferior, deficient, or diseased based on any of the attributes noted for the purpose of inciting hatred. This includes statements that one group is less than another, calling them less intelligent, less capable, or damaged. Which means all of those wonderful things that I have said <laughs> about AOC probably fall into that category. Allege the superiority of a group over those with any of the attributes noted above to justify violence, discrimination, segregation, or exclusion. Conspiracy theories ascribing evil, corrupt, or malicious intent to individuals or groups based on any of the attributes noted above. Call for the subjugation or domination over individuals or groups based on any of the attributes noted above. And deny that a well-documented violent event ever took place. In terms of edu educational content, we may allow content that includes hate speech if the primary purpose is educational, documentary, scientific, or artistic in nature. This is not a free pass to promote hate speech. Examples include a documentary about hate, a hate group. Educational content that isn't supporting that group or promoting ideas would be allowed. A documentary promoting violence or hatred wouldn't be allowed. Or a documentary about the scientific study of humans. A documentary about how 
math theories have changed over time, even if it includes theories about the inferiority or superiority of a specific group, would be allowed because it's educational content. We won't allow a documentary claiming there is scientific evidence today that an individual or group is inferior or subhuman. The, this policy applies to videos, video descriptions, comments, live streams, and any other YouTube product or feature. For educational content that includes hate speech, this content must appear in the images or audio of the video itself. Providing it in the title or description is insufficient. Larry Larry says censorship is a good thing for YouTube. I'm going to talk about that. I think it's a bad thing all the way around, but... Here are some examples of hate speech not allowed on YouTube. I'm glad this violent event happened. They got what they deserved, referring to persons with the attributes noted above. Persons with the attributes noted above are dogs, or persons with the attribute noted above are like animals. So I guess this would uh, prevent someone from, say, calling MS-13 animals or something like that. More examples. Get out there and punch a person with the attributes noted above. Notice that this does not include this uh, thing going around calling punch a Nazi, which I hate, by the way, because the left has been calling anyone who is left of Che Guevara a Nazi. All Trump supporters are Nazis, they say. Uh, other examples, everyone in groups with attributes noted above are criminals and thugs, uh, like MS-13, I guess. Persons with the attributes noted above is scum of the earth, are a disease, are less intelligent than us because their brains are smaller. Our existence is threatened by a group of any of the subjects noted above, so we should drive them out at every chance we get. Groups of a group of the individuals noted above has an agenda that run to run the world and get rid of us, which again probably runs afoul of virtually everything I have ever had to say about people who are extremely far left and are communists and socialists. Uh, attribute noted above is just a form of mental illness that needs to be cured, which is something that people say about liberals now that they have a mental illness. A uh, person with any of the attributes noted above shouldn't be educated in schools because they shouldn't be educated at all. Or all of the so-called victims of this violent event are actors. No one was hurt, and this is just a false flag. Please remember that these policies are examples, and don't post content if you think it might viol violate this policy. Now, what happens when content violates this policy? If your content violates this policy, we'll remove the content and send you to an email to let you know. If this is the first time you've posted violent content that violates our community standards guidelines, you will get a warning with no penalty to your channel. If it's not, we'll issue a strike against your channel. Your channel will be terminated if you receive three strikes. You can learn more about our strike system here. They've got a link to it. If you think your content comes close to hate speech, we may limit YouTube features available for that content. You can learn more about the features here, and there's a link to that. And then they have some um, other links, importance of context, recent transparency report, and linked f uh, features for certain videos. So, let me go back and take a look at my uh, comments here. Uh, Marshall says, YouTube, the moral and ethical arbiter of accepted speech. All hail YouTube. And throwing milkshakes is fine. Yes, you're absolutely right, Larry. That's just speech. Yeah. Indoctrination in school prisons is fine, not education. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which runs afoul of virtually everything I've said about modern education. Oh, man. These guys, you know, the real answer to speech that you find offensive is more speech. It's so that you can call out people that you don't like and to tell them what scum they are. Restricting speech only causes the public discourse to be restricted to only one point of view, and one in this case that is clearly liberal and not a single uh, liberal nor Antifa, which are a violent terrorist organization, have had their channels removed. Only conservatives have had them removed or demonetized or completely removed. My should say, probably say, and my opinion is that my channel is probably 
days are numbered. Um, should I get enough subs or like or become uh, successful enough to qualify for mon monetization? Uh, because and perhaps even if I'm not eligible because some of my content no doubt runs afoul of some of the broad definition of these terms and will continue to do so because I refuse to, refuse to tow the uh, fantastically leftist technocratic view of things. Interesting thing about this. Yesterday I was going to post on Facebook because I market this thing everywhere. I was going to post on Facebook that uh, I was going to be doing this live stream tonight and part of what I was going to be talking about is this Vox Adpocalypse and Facebook intercepted that. Now all I had said was I was going to talk about it but Facebook intercepted it and said that it was some kind of violation of their guidelines. I put it under review, but God knows how long that's going to take. But I was really very surprised about that. What that really means is there is collusion going on between YouTube and Facebook. Uh, they apparently do not want you advertising that you're going to talk about this. Marshall says, apparently YouTube hasn't looked at the very public uh, political debate, debates, which should be called almost violent arguments, which took place in the mid to late 1800s and early 1900s. Yeah, I mean, what we've got now, let me tell you something, right? And Marshall knows whom I'm talking about. I have been involved in online Star Trek fandom since before there was an internet and there was a guy who was not really a troll, but he thought he knew everything. And if you ever got into a conversation with him about anything related to Star Trek and disagreed with him, he was just vociferous and he was, he was an attack dog. He would never let it go. He would consistently go on and on about it. The words we have to agree to disagree were not in his freaking vocabulary. And ultimately, he was banned from these online forums. We'd let him back. He would be banned again. And I tried to get along with him. Everybody tried to get along with him, but you couldn't. You know, the guy was just too nutty. And, you know, I look at what's going on now in social media, which is, you know, very uncivil. And I see it and I look, oh, okay, it's just this guy again. Who cares? You know, ultimately, these are just words on a screen to me. I am never going to meet most of these people. And if they're going to be a jerk to me, who cares? You know, and the same thing applies to videos, right? If you don't like the content of the video, you know, swiping away or clicking away is real, real easy. You know, these are people you're never going to meet. And who cares what they have to say beyond a certain point? And if you really dislike it, well, get a channel. The barrier to entry is not large. If you look at the videos that I was doing when I first started this that looked like hell in terms of production values, it's not like it's hard to do. You, you can get on there and make videos with your freaking phone if you want to, you know. So the answer to speech that you don't like is more speech so that you can tell it you don't like it and here's why. Uh, Marshall says uh, he did everything. He just didn't show that some of the things he knew were, weren't exactly accurate. The guy thought he knew everything. Uh, to me, this was a really a precursor to modern you know, social media where everybody is screaming about something. And the relative anonymity of social media means that you know, they, there's no civility left. You're not nice. Now, there's ways you can deal with this. I had somebody become uncivil in the comments on one of my videos. And I just said, hey, there's no reason to be you know, hostile about this. Uh, I have an opinion. You can have an opinion that's totally different. We don't have to agree. Um, you know, why don't you tell me what you disagree about and we can talk about it. And after that, it became a perfectly you know, sane, normal conversation. You, know, you can defuse the situation just by saying, hey, whoa, 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 hold on a minute, man. Dude, there's no reason to get hostile about this. You know, we, can, we can talk about this like normal people. You can also just ignore them. You know, that's another thing you can do when somebody's being real bad nasty. When you, when you pay attention to them, it just gives them power. And sometimes, you know, Marshall said in other places too, and I agree, you can make fun of them. 
you know, if you're clever enough, if you have the brains enough, you can just go and say to these people, you know, when they get jerks on you, just make fun of them. And they'll, you know, usually shut up. Now, I do want to mention that I had my entire channel deleted. I had a channel before this, and it was deleted for totally unspecified community guideline reasons. There was about 300 videos, most of which were me, live streaming um, reviews of television and film as a science fiction one. Uh, fortunately, I backed them all up, but that whole channel was deleted, and I have not the slightest clue why. I mean, did I say something about in a review that somebody didn't like and reported? I have no idea. They were pretty damned innocuous from my perspective. And the Vox Ad Apocalypse, uh, they call it the Vox Ad Apocalypse, Ad Ad Apocalypse rather, because the guy who got it started was apparently some idiot that worked for Vox. Uh, who uh, disliked the fact that Steven Crowder uh, was making fun of him by using the exact same language that he uses to describe himself. Um, so Crowder was demonetized. And you have to understand that a lot of these big YouTubers, this is their money. This is how they make their money, is by uh, receiving ad revenue off of YouTube. So when they get demonetized, you know, they may have staffs behind them. You know, when you get to be big, I'm not, I'm a one-man operation, but when you get to be big, you know, you got staffs working for you, people who do your editing and all that, and the sound people, and, you know, things get much more complicated. So when you demonetize them, you essentially have killed their business. So the ad, ad, Vox Adpocalypse does not really affect me because my subs and view counts are too low for me to be eligible for monetization. My near-term goal, frankly, is to get 100 subs because this will mean I will qualify for a uh, personalized YouTube URL, which is important for marketing. I've got a whole line of merch and stuff that I would like to sell, but I can't really do it without an actual URL that makes sense. Right now, if you look at my URL, it's just a whole string of hexadecimal, essentially, behind it. So, um, you know, if you want me to get to that point, please, as I always say, tell your family, neighbors, friends, pets, and livestock to please subscribe to my channel. Now, I'm also, because I think that probably my days are numbered on this, uh, on this I am diversifying out to a bit shoot. Uh, you can find me at bitshoot.com slash SYL Ranch. They don't have the same problems with uh, giving somebody a uh, URL. I signed up as the uh, you know, SYL Ranch is my, co my uh, uh, username. Bingo. I had this URL. So it's bitshoot.com slash SYL Ranch. I like that simply because everything that I post is automatically mirrored over there. Um, and if I need to start posting there, uh, like for example, this live stream, that won't be automatically posted over there. So I'll pull down a copy when this is over and I'll post it up there manually. But otherwise, it's otherwise up there. Uh, but shoot, I certainly recommend that. You know, go get yourself an account on there. Certainly subscribe to me. Um, but there are lots and lots of different channels that are now uh, diversifying out to bit shoot because they figure their days here are numbered. Uh, Marshall says, 28 more subs to go. Yes, I have about 28 more subs to go. Again, tell all of your friends, family, neighbors, pets, and livestock to subscribe to my channel. I'm also looking at other places to diversify. There are a number of other ones. Uh, they don't quite do what YouTube does. Nobody seems to do these live streams. Uh, there's other things associated with this channel that I need to have done. I need to get my IMDB and Internet Archive presence updated. Uh, this includes all these 300 videos, which fortunately I had pulled down before they killed me. And they need to be uploaded to uh, our Internet Archive and corrected, correctly um, cataloged which is more complex than it sounds. Uh, I do need to have um, my, all of the dates and credits for all of these videos added to IMDb. And frankly, I need a professional headshot for IMDb. Um, if anybody out there wants to volunteer for any of these jobs, that would certainly be deeply appreciated. It's going to take me forever. And frankly, if you know someone who does free headshots, feel free to tell me because I can't afford a photographer. <laughs> so uh, to be clear, 
Also, I believe that any business has the right to refuse service to anyone for any reason, even if it's because you dislike their politics, because to do otherwise allows the government's camel's nose into that tent, and it will not stop until government controls who you can do business with, and that would be a very bad thing. And just see the bakery being forced to bake a cake for a gay couple's wedding against the bakery's wishes. You do not want government telling people who they can do business with. So YouTube being a private company, I say, okay, well, if you want to kick me off because of my political views, okay, I'm just going to go look for alternatives such as BitChute. And, um, you know, believe me, when there are enough eyes on other platforms, the reason I'm here is because of the eyes, because of the number of people. But when there are enough eyes on another platform, I am gone from here. You know, let this place become a haven for socialists and communists, and I will put my videos up on services that simply allow me to speak my mind. And that's my take on the Vox adpocalypse. Um, it's bad. YouTubers who are actually making money off of this are going to see their incomes cut to zero. And that's going to be bad. Um, and it certainly means, you know, potentially for me, if I suddenly had an enormous number of viewers that popped in and started watching all my videos and liking and subbing, got to the point where I was actually eligible for monetization, I suspect they'd look back at my content and decide certain things, like when I call AOC an idiot because she doesn't know what a garbage disposal is. Um, things like that. And by the way, I am trying to be more respectful to AOC. And that is solely because, if you look at my videos, I have a video out there that is an invitation for her to visit South Dakota and have me as a guide because she is so provincial and so ignorant of things about agriculture that I think, she, you know, taking her out there for a few days would probably educate her in a big way. Um, so I'm trying to be nice about her, but, you know, she's the gift that keeps on giving. Every time she opens her mouth, something weird and sometimes stupid comes out of it. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing the control and manipulation of minds.